What is going on? And welcome to the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network, the washed up crew in the house once again. I'm joined by, as always, Julio Monteroso, my co host. I'm Ramsey Abushawa, editor for UrbanPitch.com. Julio, we got another special guest in the house. Super today. special guest. Super special a guest. A warrior. A warrior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a reality TV star. She's a, 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 a pro athlete. Um, Jen Munoz is in the house. Jen, how, how's it going? Hello, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, thanks for being on the show. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just enjoying my time here with you guys. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to yeah. be fun. Yeah, so um, before we get kind of into everything, you want to just give a quick bio and background of, of, of yourself, you know, you're, you're, you're uh, grown up. Um, I know you're SoCal girl um, playing soccer and all that. So just a quick you know, intro on, on who you are. Yeah, I mean, I grew up here in L.A., and then I ended up going to play pro soccer in Mexico. Um, I went straight after college. I played D1 at University of New Mexico, and then played at Club America, the best club ever. Um, I like, thought it was Chivas. No. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> no, I played there for, I think it was two and a half years, close to three years, and then came back, and I'm just doing sports hosting, and I'm still involved in the sports world, so it's really cool to do that. And thankfully, the club gave me a platform to be able to do that. So yeah, I'm just enjoying my time here. I have a lot more free time than I usually do. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So what's that transition been like uh, after after your playing days? You you mentioned what what was the platform that uh, America uh, gave you um, to to continue to stay mm-hmm. involved in sports? Um, I think I mean the transition was obviously really hard. I mean I've been playing soccer my whole life. That's basically like what I grew up with and like what I've spent most of my life with. But I think the transition opened my eyes to like my new skills and kind of just getting me out of my comfort zone, which is what I really wanted. Um, leaving the club was so hard, obviously, but I knew I was making the right decision. Um, and then I think the platform that it gave me was just kind of like having like a voice on Instagram. And like, mm. it was weird because when I left the club, I gained like 8,000 followers, wow. which I don't think it doesn't matter. Followers don't matter. But I just think it was weird that like, I just gained a lot leaving the club, hmm. and it was just a weird concept. But. And what went into leaving the club? What was that decision like? Because I know that can be kind of a tough one mm-hmm. um, for, 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 for any athlete. Yeah, I think it was probably just like the thought of like my future, and I kind of wanted to, I studied business and marketing, so I really just wanted to get that started, and I really missed LA and my family. So I think being over there was really hard for me, just being like missing my family. And the soccer was great, the club was amazing, but I think just that whole thinking about my future, and I'm, I know I'm super young, I guess, I'm 25, so I wanted to start my career here, which is huh. what I'm doing now. Yeah, but I mean, normally you see, I mean, 25 is like kind of the prime athletic time. prime mm-hmm. for, yes. for most, most athletes. Um, why, why leave early when you can, you know, you can always start the, the career afterwards, but you can't really go back into, into the game. What, why, why make that decision to leave early? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've definitely thought, it, I think about it all the time, but... I think in that moment, I really just had a plan, like a set plan coming back. I wanted to kind of like expand my, or get a lot of exposure here, which I did. And now I'm with 110 Football, which is covering Angel City. So I'm really happy covering women's soccer still. And then also just doing little projects here and there. And like, I don't know, I feel like with that decision, again, it was super hard, but I don't know. I think also like the love for the game kind of faded away a little Mm -hmm. bit, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Just because I was thinking about my future so right. much, so I wasn't, I was still focused and everything, but it just wasn't as this, or the same feeling when I started. Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Our partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the World Series? Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started, so head over to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts. How was that morning, that day you wake up, like, I don't have to go to practice anymore? Oh my God, it's so weird. <laughs> I like still, I wake up today, I'm like, okay. Like, do I need to do anything? I don't know. It was so weird, yeah. But it's it's a it's a breath of fresh air for sure. How how was it the college game opposed to pro pro soccer in Mexico? Um, well, the atmosphere in Mexico is insane. Like the fans are crazy, <laughs> fans, which is so cool. Um, and then 
in college, I would say it's a bit more physical, like more athletic, right. mm-hmm. just it's like here in the US. Mm-hmm. And then in Mexico, it's more like technical, like right. one touch, two touch. Like I've never had to think so much on the field <laughs> when I got there. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. So mm-hmm. talk, talk a, bit, a little bit about uh, your time at America. How, how did you get there from New Mexico? What was the playing situation like? Um, you know, what were the, the conditions? What, what, what was it like? What was your experience like with the, with the club? Um, so my national team coach for the U20s took over the girls team for Club America. Well, the so, Mexico, Mexico national team. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then he called me up when I was finishing up my senior year of college. And he was like, are you interested in playing some more? And at the time, I was kind of dead set on like my next career. And I had like an internship somewhere and everything. Mm. And I was like, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm... I think I'm done after this year and everything. He's like, what about this? You come to Chicago, play a friendly with the team and then um, see how you like the team and we'll see how we like you. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? So I literally like went to like Big Five because I was like <laughs> back here. So I left my cleats at home or in right. college. Um, and then I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to get cleats right away. And I just, if I didn't make it, I didn't want to like spend lots of money. On yeah, yeah. So it was like 20 hour cleats. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll put these on. Anyway, so then I got to Chicago and then I did really well and then Right as I got back, they called me, or the manager said, called me and was like, hey, like, we have a contract for you. Like, you have probably a week to decide to come over and over here and, like, live in Mexico. So I got off the phone, and I think, like, right away I was like, yes. Like, I had a feeling. I was like, I need to go. Like, I would hate to be like, oh, what if, like, Right, you know? right. So, yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> and, yeah, so so when, when you got there, what was the whole transition period like? And um, did they have, like, a... a housing situation for you what, what what was it like transitioning from from um you know here to, to mexico well i was their first mexican-american so wow. sadly like when i got there there was um the house situation wasn't really planned so i had to live with the goalie renata for like probably like, two weeks until like i found a place but other than that it was a really good transition they really took care of me and i was like their baby so they took me under their wing um, and then the girls are super cool. I mean, I under, when I got there, I understand Spanish speaking it. I was like, kind of like, uh-huh. eh. like they were like, what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> but they were super nice about it. And like, I like, they like make jokes too, obviously. And I like took it, but, <laughs> and then as the years went on, I got better, but it was a really good transition for sure. Yeah. What, what, uh, the, what were the playing conditions like, um, with, in, in Liga Mekis? Because, um, you know, especially, um, you know, you talk to different people, and depending on what league they're in, you know, sometimes things things can can vary here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was your experience like um, in Liga Mekis Femenil? Um, it was amazing. I think as the years went on, the level increased right. so much. It was right. insane. And then, thankfully, we got to play in a lot of the stadiums where the men's play. So, like, played in Azteca. That was our home. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, it's a big stadium. Though. Yeah, it's my favorite like, <laughs> ever in the world. And then obviously we played some home games like in our um, facilities and everything. But other than that, I mean, we played in the stadiums like all over Mexico, which is probably like one of my favorite parts about being or like playing in that league. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, the club treated us the same as the men's too, which was I was really thankful for because I know in it's other great. countries, it's, right. it's not really, right. you know, likely that they do that. Uh-huh. But yeah, it was, it was a good experience for sure. How long did it take you to get uh, used to that uh Oh my because, gosh. Yes. I don't know. Probably like two weeks, close to a month. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's dramatic. It was like two weeks, but <laughs> yeah, it's definitely really high. I mean, the, you step on the field, you're walking, and it's like you're out of breath, like right away. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, always, like, you what? always hear about it. It's like 5,000 something. Oh my what gosh. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, like when the US men like play over <laughs> yeah, there, they, yeah. they're just dying. Right. Yeah. Um, so, what, what, what are like the tips to, to, to get um, used to that? Do you have any like. What, did you find anything that, that helped you uh, um, get acclimated or is it just like... Our trainer would just make us run. Like, <laughs> just run. Just just like, run. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds so fun. It was like preseason, so we were just right. killing ourselves. Yeah. But it definitely helped us after like three weeks. So just run. Just keep running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to pass out, but just keep running. I'll start one day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. We'll, we'll get take you next week. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 Just run. <laughs> um, so you mentioned, you know, the level increase from year to year and, and you've seen, you know, just this past weekend, um, I think something like three, there were like three or four uh, attendance records, you know, in, in Wolfsburg. I think I saw Newcastle had a, mm-hmm. a big, big crowd. PSG mm-hmm. Lyon had a huge Champions League crowd. Um, Angel City's opening game, you know, big, big, big time cards. So you see the, the interest level kind of growing and then the level of play growing. What, what was that like, um, you know, with, with, with Club America? How, how did you see that progress over the years? Yeah, it was I was crazy. I mean, when I my first game um, was away, but I think there was about like fifteen thousand people there. Oh, wow. Like my good. first ever professional game. Who was that? Who was that against? San Luis. Okay. So 
Um, yeah, I mean, it was crazy. It was definitely like a new thing for me. And I think over the years, we got just more fans and more attention with just the league in general. And I don't know, I just think women's soccer is like growing so much like day by day. And like, I feel like, like Angel City, it was like 20,000. Yeah, like, 22, That's crazy. 22. Or 22, yeah. 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 It's just insane. And then like the Barcelona... Yeah, it was like 90, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah, and it was just, it's beautiful to see like it grow so much in like, every single week. It was great. Yeah. And and in your eyes, there's you know, obviously there's a lot of talk around the NWL. Um, you know, this this they signed the CBA. Um, mm-hmm. but on, on the other on the other hand is the the, the playing level, right? Um, what in your opinion is I, I don't know if you have like if you're able to tell, but um, like, how is the playing level in uh, Liga Mekis with, with uh, Club America versus the NWSL? Is there any way that you can kind of compare the two? Yeah, I, I think that it's always been, I mean, here it's a lot more physical. It's a lot more, it's more athletic girls. I mean, bigger girls for sure. Because <laughs> I think the league over there is still really young. So that you right. see like 16-year-olds, yeah. and then you see like a 35-year-old, like Janelle. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. She's, I don't know how old she, she don't look that old, I promise. But she's no. older, yeah. Right. She's been playing for a while. A yeah, exactly. Time. She's over twenty one for sure. And she's <laughs> she's the most fit girl yes. on yeah, the team. Yeah, I've sure. seen I've seen her play and she's, she's killing it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think just like the age difference there, um, and then I think it's also more t- more technical in Mexico. It's mm-hmm. like one two touch. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's kinda like the big difference. Yeah, and, and you saw um I think it was she was drafted by Orlando. Um, I can't think of her name. I, I had mm-hmm. her name, but she she didn't sign with Orlando and then went to to Liga Mekis to play. I think oh, it was really? with Tigres. I think I'm. I'm I, okay, I, there's I, a few I, girls that came from here to right. Oh, so yeah. so you see more people kind of gravitating towards um, Liga Mekis, which is you know good to see. Yeah. Obviously, you know you want the two leagues to mm-hmm. to kind of compete with each other like that. Yeah, I think there's a lot more foreigners heading to Mexico. I mean, I think on Club America we have like eight U.S. girls now. Oh so. wow. Yeah. Definitely. So you're you were the first one, and mm-hmm. and then so do you kind of see yourself as like a oh a, a, a trendsetter? In, in I think sense? so. Yeah. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah, it's welcome. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, now that you transitioned out of the pro game um, and into you know um, media, doing doing media stuff, doing uh, you know hosting different shows, mm-hmm. what what is that? transition been like for you um kind of getting out of the game and and into your new your new career because i know you said you had a plan what what was that plan how are you kind of blueprinting all that i think i just wanted to kind of get my foot in the door in different places and i think like going from soccer to media is it i mean it sounds easy because i know the game i played the game mm-hmm. but it's really hard i mean i've never practiced this i didn't you know i haven't been doing this my whole life like i did with soccer like soccer came kind of natural and like i mean it's i trained for it my whole life and then here it's kind of like I'm learning new things. I'm learning my strengths and my weaknesses. And it's cool to, like, keep learning and growing, too. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, then with my plan, I think I just want to start, like, obviously, like, little shows here and there and then see where it goes, kind of. I'm very, like, present. I'm a present person. Uh, So that's why I'm, like... Living in the now. Living in the now. I'm, like, hey, don't stress out about your future. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, super fun. So so can you, besides, besides, you know, you mentioned the one tension, what what are some other stuff that, that, that you have going on? So I'm doing my own show, actually, with um, girls from... Right now, it's just girls from Mexico okay. on my old team. Mm-hmm. So I just ask them questions about kind of like off-the-pitch stuff, um, more about themselves and their mental game and everything, just like fun stuff. Mm-hmm. That questions, like, they don't really get asked. I mean, most of them get asked questions about just soccer and, you know, how they're playing or stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to start that, see where that goes. And then it's just fun for me. It's a, it's a new project that I, like, have fun with. Yeah, and back to your playing days for a second, but I don't know who you like to ask this question, but what was that one moment where, uh, you know, it might have been in your, your, your first practice or your first, mm-hmm. your first uh, training or your first game? Uh, what was that moment where you're like, uh, you know, welcome to being a professional that, you know, whether it was, you know, a hard tackle, like, going shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, like what's going on? Like, hey, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, that's a good question. Um, I would say. Who megged you? <laughs> I try to. Start, I, don't, I don't remember. No one's ever back to me. Yeah, you, you, you gotta, you gotta forget those. Ones yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's a great question. I would say probably my first game in San Luis. I, I think someone just like knocked me out or like pushed me into the ground. I was like, oh my gosh! And ever you could just hear the crowd go ooh. And I was like, okay, I'm here. I need to get up. <laughs> like I don't know that moment. And I think like obviously score on well, my first game in Azteca. I scored wow. my first goal. And then my mom was there too, so I think that oh, was that awesome. was probably the most special moment for me, and that was like an eye opener. Like, oh my gosh, I'm here. What was it like playing in the Azteca in such a historic? Yeah, it's, it's, it was, a lot of people talk about it, how great it is, great yeah. atmosphere, and it's 
super big stadium. I think it's like 90,000 fans. Oh, yeah, it just like covers yes. you. Yeah, I mean, even like the walk down, like on the right, there's always like uh, photos of like legends and like games played here, like World Cups. And you just see that every time you walk down, it just like gives you the chills. And then, I mean, you go into the locker rooms, and thankfully, our locker room is so cool. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but. I have not. No. Okay, well, when you're done, take a look. But it's just, it's like a tunnel, and it's just like a bunch of yellow, and you see like the Club America logos, and it just like gives you such a feeling. And then, like, walking into the Azteca, like the field, I mean, the stadium just like covers you. And then, without any people there, like when you're warming up and stuff, it's like you're in like your own element, too. And then, once you like people start flooding in, you just hear like everything. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's an experience for sure. Yeah, and, and America is obviously known. They have some pretty cool jerseys. Um, mm -hmm. Nike does a pretty good job with them over the years, yeah. you know, with different kind of patterns, different, um, you know, I know the sponsors uh, are all over the place <laughs> there, mm -hmm. but um, do you have a specific jersey that, that uh, you, you kind of um, gravitate towards? Yeah, probably the white one with the black like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like the kind of like the, almost like a cartoon like yes uh, graphics yeah. All over yeah i think it's just so different from like any of the other jerseys like in the league and like mm -hmm. even here too right and i think that was my that was my last jersey i played in but it was probably like my last season wearing that jersey mm -hmm. so i loved it it was so cool yeah are yeah. you are you being into jerseys and in, 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 in fashion because i know soccer jerseys and and and, and fashion are kind of like in right yeah now. i mean i love fashion i think that's what kind of like separated me from um, like in Mexico, I don't think they were really like, uh, what's it called? Like, what's the word? Like they didn't ever see like a soccer player into fashion, I oh, guess. Right. So they're so, not doing like the red carpets like you <laughs> see with, uh, yeah. uh Gotham. Yeah. with shades every game. Like, yeah. They're like, Jen, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. No. Go Gotham FC does a really good job where they have oh like a red gosh, carpet so and they do cool. like a photo shoot. Yeah. And like, that, and that's like girls so love that. I think oh, yeah. people forget like we're girls too. I mean, <laughs> we love fashion and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I think. I think jerseys are so cool, especially like the old ones, I think, mm -hmm. like the vintage the, ones. The yeah. Love yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Like I would, I definitely wear those with like some jeans, and, like <laughs> yeah. glasses. I don't know. But yeah, I love, I love like that old vintage jersey fashion. So back to the playing days. Uh, what was that playlist looking before the game? Like, what would you listen to? Oh my god. Was it like the calm music or was it? Yeah, listening to some Little John. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not to? Little John. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it was a mix. So I think I first started off like really calm, like Frank Ocean. All right. I don't know, I'm a pretty calm person, and then. Towards, like, when I get into the locker room, it's like, well, I love, like, Spanish music. Like, right, like okay. Maluma, I love him. Right. Uh, Jay Balvin. And then I think I just kind of take my earphones off. And then, like, usually, like, the girls just, like, play music. Mm. But it's mostly, like, uh, like Spanish music. And then, like, if, like, a U.S. girl's on the aux, she plays, like, I don't know, like, Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just, like, goes yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shout out to Meg. Meg, Meg makes deadlifting music. Like, oh, she, she makes, does. She yeah. makes, like, that's like max day. Like, you're looking to, to add a couple of pounds right there. You're just throwing some Meg in the <laughs> stallion, and, and, and you're set. Yeah. I know, I saw that you were um, part of the this, this, like, crazy survivor style oh uh, reality show. What, yes. was, am, I, am I saying it? Is it X? Ex Talon? Is that? Ex Exathlon. Ex yeah. Ex Exathlon. You no, know, don't worry. The whole show, I can say it. Okay. But now I can. Ex Exathlon. Ex Ex yeah. Ex yeah. Cool, so, cool. so I need to, I need to work on my pronunciation, obviously. <laughs> but but what was that? Because because I haven't actually watched it. Um. Because you know I, I don't really watch Telemundo like that. Uh, is, was it on Telemundo? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So I uh, gotta make sure first. Yeah. What's that? Who was your guy? No. 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 I knew. I, I saw the tea. I saw the tea. Yeah. Um. So so what was that like? Because I've seen you know kind of highlight clips and videos of of you and some of the other contestants. What was that like? And just can, can you kind of give like a a background into what what the premise of the show is? Yeah, I mean, I, every day it would just be a circuit. You're competing against the blue team, and then basically you kind of just gather up points. And the circuits were like it was pretty intense. I mean, it was a short circuit. It's doable. But then I think the ending part was probably the hardest part. Um, it was more like it's like carnival games. So it's like you put a ring in, on like a cone. Oh, or like, oh it. it just it was really hard. Right. Um, yeah. Like you could be the first one there, but if you sucked at that, you're done. And then like the second you start sucking, it starts getting in your head. Yes. And all of a sudden, people are starting to catch oh, up. Oh my god, people were just yeah. yelling. But I think as like the the game went on or the show went on, people were like, okay, like she doesn't like it if you yell at her, or he likes it if you yell at him. Right. You know? Right. So it was it was cool. It's kind of like a team mindset again, which I missed a lot. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it was so individual, too. Like, I remember going to the show. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go on this for fun. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter. And I got on. I think the first week, I, like, lost. And I cried. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to care. Yeah. But it was a cool experience. And I think I learned a lot about myself. And just, like, my dad called it phone rehab. 
because it was, I mean, they took away your phones and you couldn't talk to anyone except your teammates and like the doctor Um, and all the producers, obviously, but it was really cool. I highly recommend it if you guys. All right, yeah, we got. I got to check I'll it out. Maybe sign you guys sub, up. Maybe with some subtitles. But uh, how how did you get into that show? Or like uh, like what was that it process? process. Like? Yeah. Um, an agent um who is familiar with like the girls in Mexico mm-hmm. reached out to me and he was like, "Hey, do you want to do this?" And I was like, "No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> not not my thing." Like right. yeah, I'm talking like in front of like people with, that does involve soccer, like not my thing. Right. And then he was like, "No, no, like you can give me details." And I was like, "Okay, okay, I'll I'll do it for sure." And then I didn't have anything planned like going on the next few months, so I think it was a good time for me to do it too. So yeah, and then I just said yes, and then so down to the DR. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the Dominican Dominican Republic. Yeah, what, was Dominican that, Republic. what was that like? Being oh, there? beautiful! I yeah. want to go back so bad. Yeah, I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, we got to kind of explore the first week, and then on the show, not so much. But right, and and fun. you're paired with different pro athletes and and kind of like uh, fitness fitness people. Like, mm-hmm. well, who who. Like, who was on your team and who you were playing against? Um, so there's one girl, Isa. She was a Olympic swimmer. Oh, wow. From Colombia. Oh, sure. Um, yes, but she went to SMU, so super okay. cool. All right, nice. And then um, Jaime was a pro wrestler from Puerto Rico. Yeah, and then okay. Jordan O'Brien yeah. from here. Yeah, we know, we know Jordan. Player. Yeah, and then, who else? Oh, my gosh. Mm, oh, Osorio. So you played for the Mexican national team. He's like pretty old. Okay. But yeah, I, I remember Osorio. Yeah. 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 So yes, he played. He was there, and then there's like an actor, um, and then just another swimmer. But yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good. Team right. So a bunch sure. of like people who not like if they weren't athletes have backgrounds in athletics. Exactly. Then, yeah. So. That was the red team, and the blue team was kind of just like fitness influencers or people who just work out a lot. <laughs> right. And so, so yeah. what was that? So is, is red team winning winning everything or, or no? Or surprising. No. I mean. It, it was the competitions were so weird. Like people were, were good at different things, and yeah. So what what were kind of so you have the yeah. carnival games? What what other stuff were you, were you doing? Um, I mean the circuits were somewhere in the water. Oh wow. I had to swim. So I didn't do too hot there, <laughs> which is weird because I love the ocean. I love swimming, but I think just like competing. Like I drowned, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you drowned. Yeah, there was an episode. It was pretty dramatic. Yeah, but Did I they have to like save you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, how did that happen? Like, yes. You know that's a great question. Yeah, body <laughs> I, pattern. No, I know. I just, we had to, it was so weird. There was this thing where like you had to, so it was like pretty, it was like a pool of water and I had to like go under and like unhook this thing and hook it onto something else and like move a ball. And I think it was just like a mental block. Like I could swim, but I think in there I like kind of like hyperventilated and I was like black, I just blacked out and I just woke up and I was like surrounded by everyone and I was so embarrassed. I was like, this is so dramatic. But then they, the doctor checked me out and then I, I did it again. So I think... Oh, so you went back in there? Yes. And like, at, isn't that weird? So at the time I was like, I'm not doing it. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. That would be me. That would be me. No, I'm like, I literally blacked out in the water. But then one of my teammates was like, no, like, I know you. I know what you're capable of. Like, you're going to go back there and you're going to do it because I know you can. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like crying. And I did it and I felt so good after it. Yeah. yeah that must have been a nice mountain to summit there. It it was. Yeah. It was, wow. it was pretty cool. That's crazy. If I drown once, I don't think I'm going <laughs> into the water for at least like a two-year period. There's no exactly. way. There, I'm not yeah. taking a bath. I'm not doing shit, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> if I'm, dr- like I'm drowning, man, like in the shower, you're like, ah. yeah, come on, You man. got like flashbacks. Yeah. Like, yeah, like no way. I got stung by a jellyfish once. I didn't go to the ocean for, for oh, like I wouldn't either. six months. I hate the ocean. Oh. You do? Yeah, my dad. Well, he's afraid of sharks. Though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that's, that's the most irrational fear no, that there is. Listen, every year there's always that one story about the shark was close to the shore and it killed somebody. <laughs> that's big dolphin p- propaganda. That's, that's the like dolphins. Florida. I don't... Everybody says, and then it's like, oh, that was in the lake. I don't want to be that one story. Okay. So I stay, I, I'm in the sand, have a beer, and I'm like, hey, guys. You're just cool. handy. Yeah. Yeah. So now back to the lake, like, what, what, what spots would you recommend here for a first date spot? Because you're a SoCal mm-hmm. girl. A lot of people are single in the lake. It's hard to date here in the lake. So can you give somebody really. advice? Mm, I would say a sports game. Sports game. Mm. Yeah. I'm not really into, like, the whole, like, First day at a restaurant, and you have to sit there and be like, "What's your favorite color?" <laughs> I really gotta get to know you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, no, I'm just watch isn't something. it kind of loud because of like the, the the crowd? That's the point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never mind. No, uh, I mean, if we're talking about restaurants, probably like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, it doesn't I don't have to be a restaurant. It could be like a hike. Oh. Um, I don't Applebee's. Know. Applebee's. TGF Chili's. Friday. <laughs> Denny's, Denny's. You know the yeah. casual. I don't know. I really enjoy sports games, so I feel like. That'd be like the perfect first mm, date. Interesting. Um, you, you can kind of tell, you know, how they react to, to 
certain things you can kind of tell a little bit about their personality exactly, and everything yeah yeah, okay. yeah and it's just fun i mean first day first day should be fun they shouldn't be like right. so be like fun. stressed and formal and like yeah. you know be on your phone the whole time but what 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 <laughs> yeah. sports game would be ideal for you like is it are we talking LA, lafc la galaxy um, angel city i like hockey 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 so shout out to the kings kings, game. kings yeah. or ducks kings go kings i don't i'm literally i couldn't I don't know a thing about hockey. Man. Me I know they fight. I know okay. they fight. It's so fun. I, <laughs> I know mean, Ovechkin. I know Sidney Crosby. I know anybody. I know uh, King. Okay. Right? Is the yeah. keeper yeah. Yeah. On, on the Kings? Yeah. I've been to three Hockey's games. Hockey is so fun. You guys should go. I highly recommend. No, I've been, it's I've just been to like, three games. It's basketball, but like more. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's know. basketball, but with a stick and ice skates. Yes. And, it's like and soccer. Yeah. And, and boom, boom, boom. And right? when I'm watching, I'm like, okay, he's going to pass here. It's like when I'm watching soccer, you like kind of visualize like where. Right. Where yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe Holy and I will go. What about you guys? Oh, yeah. Go on a date together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I got to get to know him. <laughs> I got to get to know him. <laughs> yeah, we just work together. We, we're not, I, don't, I don't really know. You have no idea who he is. After yeah. the camera's off, I'm like, I don't want to see him. I'm yeah, he goes, he goes to his side. Yeah. You know, he has his. You guys see each other like every single day because you work together all the time? No. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. He's too much. Like, no, I'm, I'm too much, bro. I'm too much. Yeah. <laughs> we went to the Angel City game on Friday. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, we went. We at least once a week when we, yeah. when we record, and we, then you know maybe out. It's usually a whole day thing of him. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> of me, it's it's yeah, this is a, this is the Julio show. <laughs> I think now. your We're personalities just... just go hand in hand. <laughs> nah, he he wheels me in. I'm a little crazy. He's the one like stop. No, okay. Yeah, he was so low on the on the Lawrence Hussman episode, you know. And oh, I saw that. You're a little nervous. <laughs> I, was, I was super old. nervous. You saw that? No, I'm just kidding. Did, no, you, you, did, you, see, did you see how nervous I was? <laughs> no, no, you did great. <laughs> no, no, it was my first time. He left me alone. Oh. So uh, I had to be Beyonce. Had to get rid of Destiny's Child. Okay. Yeah, yeah and like just <laughs> And the first blossom. album, you know, the first album did. You killed it. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 all that great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you killed it, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So... You want to wrap things up, Julio? Let's we do got, it. We got the so so we like to close things out. Julio puts together some rapid fire questions, so I will put you on the hot seat for a little bit. Um, okay. You know, don't be nervous. These are these are uh, all uh, all good questions. Yeah, all great right? questions. Yeah, yeah. All right, Julio, take it away. So, best tacos, Mexico City or LA? Mexico City, one hundred percent. Why? Uh, <laughs> good question. I don't know. I feel like they're just like so natural. And, all right. I don't know. Mexico what, what, City. What's your go-to taco order? Mm-hmm. Um, tacos that. Pastor, I think. Mm-hmm. And then is, there's this place called Ramon Quito over there. I highly recommend going there too. All right. So, yeah. All right. All right. Good shoes, bad fit, or good fit, bad shoes? Uh, bad fit, good shoes. Oh, Ooh. so you're a sneaker. You're a sneaker. You're a sneaker. Yeah. Big shoe girl, yeah. Favorite sneaker all times? Just any Jordans. Any Jordans. Jordans. Like a specific number, ones, threes? I like threes. Four, the threes. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the threes. Yeah. Cardio or weights? Cardio. She's a runner. She's a track star. She's a track star. <laughs> track I like star. boxing. 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 Wow. Yeah, shout out so boxing. So she will beat you up. Yeah. Yeah, with my noodle arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, on the hips, though. It's yeah. on the it hips, is. Right? It, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. She's a boxer. <laughs> Five aside or 11s, so soccer wise? Because um, I saw you play. That's a good question. Um, 11s. 11s? All right. All right. You did great. You did great when you were playing in the. That's also hard. Yeah. It's different. It was one, two, and let the ball go. Yeah. Hardest challenge in X. 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 Exalton. Exalton. The hardest challenge. Um, probably. Wow, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, I could say when I drowned, like going back. <laughs> probably. Like hard yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black and now, and we're going to be like the um, hardest challenge. And just being away from my family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's got to be tough. All right. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks well, for really me. appreciate you coming on the show. Um, we go, we'll put you know all the all the, the links to to Jen's socials in 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 the the bio in the description, um, or in the description in the comments, not the, <laughs> uh, the bio. But um, Jen, really appreciate you coming on. Really, really thank you for uh, for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, you know, best of luck to you with with the show. Hopefully, you know, maybe Julian and I can make it. Yeah, yeah it gets appearance. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh maybe, my god, I'd maybe. love to have you guys on. All right. All right. Well, we'll make it happen. You guys, you guys know already. If you want to take her on a first date. Make sure it's a sports game. LA yes. Kings, it's the playoffs coming up soon, so, right? So, exactly. So season's running out. Get I'm those. Single is a Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's single. We forgot. There you, we you, go. I'm, I'm already trying to get you a date. I don't even know if you're single. Yeah. <laughs> no way. I, like I know. Yeah, you can have. So you're single, right? Single. I am very single. All right, then you got guys. Get us on the Kings tickets. Yeah. Playoffs is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for thank having you. me. I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Yeah.